Hello and welcome to the first lecture of this new module on communicating complex ideas effectively. Now in this section we will help you learn how to communicate complex ideas effectively in a manner that can be easily understood to master the complexity. And in this particular lecture we will look at what are the obstacles in communicating complex ideas effectively, right? So what do you think? How can we communicate complex ideas effectively? Any general thoughts? Before we do that, let us look at what are the obstacles in communicating complex ideas effectively. What do you think? What are the obstacles in communicating complex ideas effectively? One, of course, is the idea itself, which is complex. And that requires you to take extra efforts. But what are the other obstacles? There are two obstacles that come to my mind, right? And these are the two dominant ones. One is what is called curse of knowledge. What that is, we will talk about it. And second is a lack of audience centricity. And I think this you can understand, right? So let's take a look at each of these. So what is curse of knowledge? Any thought? Something to do with knowing too much and not having good impact? Yes, that's, that's right. So curses, curse of knowledge is that we know too much about our topic. Whatever we want to communicate about, which is complex enough, we have good knowledge, great knowledge. And this can happen with scientists, this can happen with uh, experts. Uh, it, so, and then what happens is, as a result of knowing too much, we assume about the audience's knowledge to be at a significantly higher level than what it could be. They may be at the same level as yours, but if they were at the same level, why would you be communicating to them? So it's a good chance that you have significantly better knowledge and you make assumptions about your knowledge being similar. And as a result of that assumption, you take shortcuts in your explanation to those people and use jargon for that matter. You think the jargon will be understood and you think they know the jargon, they can understand that, the concept, and you use that. So that's the curse of knowledge. What about lack of audience centricity? And how does that does prevent us uh, from uh, communicating effectively? See, we, as, uh, as a result of lack of audience centricity, <coughs> we tend to relay ideas, communicate to others in a manner that we are most comfortable receiving. So if you are dependent on data, if you are a data and detail guy, then you say, okay, let me use data and detail because that's what you are comfortable of. Not knowing that audience may or may be comfortable in some other way. So what are the possible ways? We will look at in the subsequent lectures. But we assume the methodology of learning is same as ours, where their methodology of audience, the methodology of learning of audience could be very different from our own one. So that's what I would mean here by lack of audience centricity and that's what it affects. Now these two put together, the use of uh, not easy language, use of jargons, use of a higher level of knowledge, and a method that which is not in line with the audience being through the lack of incentives, it makes it more difficult for our audience to understand us. First, they don't know the content. They, the, it is coming at a, in a language that they don't understand easily. And second, it is coming in a medium, in a method, in a process that also is not familiar to them. So it's a double whammy. And as a result of that, it becomes the idea doesn't get communicated effectively uh, in this whole process, right? So what do we do next? Having looked at what causes uh, us, what prevents us, what are the obstacles in communicating our complex ideas effectively, which is the curse of knowledge and lack of audience centricity, what do we do next? In the next one, we'll see what can we do to make it easy. How can we communicate effectively a complex idea to make it the, our audience understand and be with us? So thank you so much for watching this first lecture 
on communicating complex ideas effectively. I hope you are continuing to learn new, new things, continuing to enjoy. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me uh, on Udemy portal and I'll be happy to give you any answer that I can.